Once an order has been placed by a customer on your Shift4 Shop store, you have a lot of options in regards to processing the order and customer information. Let's take a quick look at how we do that. We can see all orders by coming to Orders and Managing Orders. We can see we can actually filter automatically by new orders, those being processed, partial, shipped, cancel, hold, and unpaid orders. So let's go ahead and look at this order from John Doe. Within the order details, it allows you to see the status it's at, the shipping and billing information, any referral information such as where they found you, rewards points, and how they paid. As people go through the order process, you're allowed to change the status, whether it be from processing, a partial shipment, the entire thing shipped, cancel, hold, unpaid, and quote. And you can actually then notify customers when it happens. Underneath the action tabs, there's a variety of options available to you. The customer email will view and resend the customer's order notification email. The distributor email, if the order contains items provided by a distributor, this option allows you to view and resend the distributor's email. If you're using a hosted payment gateway option, as opposed to, let's say, a redirect option like PayPal Express, the virtual terminal allows you to charge credit cards from the order screen. Normally, this will require you to have the customer's credit card information on hand. However, if they're calling in, they can normally give it to you to be keyed in. The new CRM allows you to create a new CRM ticket for a customer on the order. You can use the add item to add additional items to the order as needed. In some cases, you may need to recreate the order, perhaps due to an accidental cancellation or the customer wanting to reorder and you can use this option to duplicate it. Using this option will allow you to recalculate shipping for the order and select a different shipping charge if necessary. In some cases, you may have orders placed by an already existing customer using an alternate login to the store, let's say a different email address. This option will let you link the order to the customer's previous record to maintain the customer in the store. And in some cases where it seems that the tax was incorrect, this option allows you to troubleshoot the store's tax calculation for that particular order. And while we only have a single order at this time, if you have multiple orders that you've processed, you can go ahead and click the orders and move those throughout the status as needed. If you take orders by phone, you can also manage those orders within the screen. Here you can also edit the automated emails that go out to your customer. So if we come into Settings, Design, and emails, we can open up the order emails and we can make changes to any of those. This may require you to know some HTML. You can also print things such as invoices and packing slips to go with the order. Go to Orders, Manage Orders, and we can print an invoice or packing slip. The difference between an invoice and a packing slip is a packing slip normally does not provide the dollar amounts charged. Here's a packing slip, and here's the invoice. You can also print out multiple packing slips and invoices at the same time. And that's how easy it is to manage your orders in the Shift4 Shop Store.